Welcome back to the Trick Shop. We're back working on the dinghy. Uh, in the last video, we did the first coat of non-skid. And since then, I, I put a second coat to even it out and then put a final coat of just paint over the top of it to seal it down. It looks really good. We're gonna get the tape off and see how it actually came out. Martin is here, our ship's right engineer, master carpenter, fix everything guy. And he's gonna start installing the main sheet traveler and then we'll install the seat once the main sheet traveler is installed. Martin, if you're ready, I'm gonna get to work taking the tape sure. off and we'll go from there. Okay, first I'm gonna count the sink the holes that take the screw that holds this together. Checking the hole with the head of the screw to make sure it's deep enough, which it isn't. Then we bolt the main sheet travel from underneath. Washer and a locker. So we tighten down the screws, and this should lock the lock the plate sheet trailer in place. Next, we position the seat. Very nice, Mark. Seat position is checked with the center board. Next we we'll lock the holes from underneath. To use a mirror now to, to find the holes that we can uh, spot with a pencil from underneath. So now we spot it down the side of this, we can lift it up and drill the holes in the bottom. Drilling the holes in the bottom allows us to drill through such that we can break the fibres through the face but they are going to be cleaned out by the countersink. Okay, having drilled the holes, we now countersink them for the overhead finished screws. The other side's the same. We just turn around and do the other side, line up all the holes, and 
drilling and countersinking and fitting the oval head screws. Oval head screws give a nice finish. And they don't hold water. So they seal up the hole and water runs over the top of them. So um, the seat is screwed down with uh, machine screws and nuts and with oval heads. Now we're going to fit the bag of board in. It's perfectly. Finished job. Very good, Martin. That turned out real nice. We've got all the tape off and the lines on the non-skid look really good. I think the color turned out really nice. And so our next step is just to put the, the finish on this wood. So now what I'm gonna do is just wipe the wood down with the paint thinner to make sure it's good and clean. And then we'll be ready to start putting the, the varnish on it. The paint thinner will actually give you an idea of what it will look like once the clear varnish goes on. So it is going to be a little darker than the seat, but that's because the wood is much older. So I'm going to use a product by McClowski's. Uh, it's Man of War Spar Varnish, and this is a satin finish. I didn't want it to be really glossy so I'm just going to apply it with a brush I'll actually put probably four or five coats of this on here to make it last Just want to make sure that you get it all even and smooth. Make sure you don't have any drips or runs. You could tape the fiberglass if you wanted to, to keep from getting the varnish on there. Um, I've actually done this. <laughs> a number of times so I'm pretty good with a brush so save a little time without doing it of course I have my rag with some thinner on it in case I do get some on there I can easily wipe it off
Okay, so that's how we do the varnish. I'm going to continue on around the boat to get that finished up for the first coat. And I'll be putting a few more coats on once it dries. Um, and then the next step, we'll be putting the mast on and taking it for a sail. So keep watching. Be sure to subscribe and like. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, we'll keep tricking it out here at Ted's Trick Shop.